test pilot evaluates aircraft to make sure that they do what they're supposed to do. Uh, we make sure it goes to the top speed that's advertised, uh, the bottom speed, the height, um, and we also exercise uh, all the innards, you know, the avionics, the computer systems. Um, so it's 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 a broad broad brush of what we do, but uh, test pilot basically evaluates the aircraft to make sure it does what it's supposed to do. And how many planes have you flown in? Well, let's see. For the Boeing company, uh, F-18 is my, uh, is my primary. Uh, I also fly the P-8A. That's uh, a maritime patrol aircraft for the Navy. It's based on the 737 design. Um, I've also flown the QF-16 for the Boeing company. The, most people know what an F-16 is. The QF-16 is an airplane that will fly itself without a pilot. So I'm the guy that gets in it, starts it up, takes it airborne, push a button, and then the ground takes over. The ground puts the airplane through a series of maneuvers to make sure it does what it's supposed to. I'm there as a safety guy to disconnect in case the thing goes haywire. Uh, fortunately, we got through that test phase and I'm still in relatively one piece. Are you ever scared to have, you know, your fate in someone else's hands? Not really, because before you ever touch an airplane, you have a very detailed understanding of, of its design, what it's supposed to do, how it's put together, uh, how it's programmed, and you go through a lot of ground time before you're getting flight time. So, and a, a test pilot is really an engineer that knows how to fly. What's your favorite part about the upcoming St. Louis Science Center exhibit? You know, I love the uh, where you can design your own fighter as, as a, as a form, former fighter. Actually, there's no such thing as a former fighter pilot. Um, as a, a seasoned fighter pilot, you can walk up to a touch screen and select the type of fuselage, the type of wing, and the type of tail. Uh, customize it yourself. You can choose your co own color, name it, uh, whatever you want. And then what you can do is get in the cockpit, select the design that you created, and then fly it and feel it and see how it flies. So that's for, as a test pilot and a fighter pilot, that's what I like the most. But I'll tell you what, um, I was amazed at, at all the exhibits. Um, they're very well thought out, very well designed. Um, anybody from a, a, a you know, three-year-old to a 80-year-old would enjoy all of them. None of them are really geared for any specific uh, age group. They're all very fascinating. And how can kids who are interested in doing what you do get started on that track? I would start by going to visit the exhibit. Uh, you're going to catch a fever. It's going to want you to probably do more web searches on the topics that you that interest you. Like could, maybe it's a, a trip to Mars. Um, you know, so if you're six years old right now, uh, in maybe just 13 years, you could be on your way to Mars. It, and maybe by then we have developed propulsion to get you there quicker. Because I hear it's not a quick trip at the moment. Um, so, so you catch a fever is really how you start. And then that leads to reading and, and researching, and then pretty soon you'll get a picture of something, you'll post it on your wall, and you say, I want to do that. And so every day for the rest of your life, you're going to do something that drives you closer to that goal. Uh, that's how it happened for me.